What's up everyone, V here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Mafex Homelander from The Boys. Um, yes, this is Homelander, as he appears in the show The Boys, as I literally just said. Specifically, I think this is how he looks in Season 1. I think that's what this figure is based off of. He has the same look throughout every season of the show, but I think it's the hair... I th and that he never has that in the show anymore uh, after season one. And the hair is swooshed more to the side. That's how it is in season one, whereas every other season it's more swooshed back. But yeah, um, I said I was going to review... I don't know if I said it or not, but I was planning on reviewing the uh, Mafex the Boys figures when season four came along. But then it did come along, and I haven't watched it yet, and I got very preoccupied. So I think the finale is either dropping today, when this video drops, the next day, or the previous day. It's within this week the finale drops, and I haven't watched a single episode yet. But I'll get to it. I, I've been trying to catch up on all my shows. I watched The Acolyte, and uh, I, wa I just finished Gen V also phenomenal but yeah i love the boys think it's a great show first three seasons really solid a little worried for this season because i've heard more negative stuff but i still think it's gonna be really solid they haven't disappointed me yet and homelander is a brilliant villain terrifying as all hell but brilliant i think is it anthony or anton anthony anthony i think it's Ant. i don't know something star does a phenomenal job as Homelander. I could literally not imagine anyone else capturing the uh, psychoticness of this character. And uh, yeah, this is of course a figure by Mafex. Oh, I don't think I've done a Mafex review yet because they're expensive and I don't really like to buy imports beyond figure arts and even then I'm kind of like dodging. But I really wanted figures from the boys and uh, Mafex is the only one that makes good ones. There are um, NECA figures, but um, we don't talk about the NECA figures. Specifically that Homelander. I have the Black Noir, he's cool. Homelander, horrifying. Does not look good at all. And I had a choice. I had this guy for a while. But I seem confused. It's because I'm trying to remember all that I did when I first got this guy. But... I really wanted him, I really wanted a Homelander figure, and my choices were the NECA or this guy. The NECA figure was $60, and this guy was discounted to 70 So it's like I either buy an insanely overpriced NECA figure which doesn't look good and isn't in scale with any of my other figures because it's 7 inch, or I get the discounted Mafex one, which is the one I actually want that actually looks good, and I decided to go with the one you obviously see here, and I am very much not disappointed, because this is actually a pretty solid figure. But before we get into Mr. Homelander, I tried to get him into his goofy, fake, heroic pose, because, you know, he pretends to be a hero, although that is kind of, that's cracking now, since he just, well, season three ended. Spoilers for the first three seasons, and possibly Gen V. Nothing for the new season. He just straight up lasers a guy, so. It is very much mirroring today's politics, which I think a lot of people have a problem with, but, you know. Hey, it's the boys. I roll with it. And here's the packaging for Mr. Homelander. Also, if you're wondering why it's tilted, it's because it, it won't stand up. But yeah, you got Homelander looking... Looking mean. Homelander action figure Mafex number 151. Met Medicom, Medicom toy. Homelander, the boys trademark. Also, if this video seems rough, it's because I haven't made a video in a couple weeks. And anytime that happens, I'm just all over the place. More so than usual. Got really mad, Homelander. The boys. The boys. If you didn't know, this is from the boys. Also, yeah, from the boys, just in case you didn't know. And a more heroic Homelander. Same stuff, and then just... 
50 poses of Homelander with all of his accessories and everything. So yeah, bringing Mr. Lander, isn't his name John? I forget, they like briefly called him by his real name, I think, in like the first season. But yeah, um, he comes with a lot of accessories because he's a Mafex and I'd hope he would. We're just going to get my least favorite accessory out of the way. Did I, did I lose a part of it? Hold up. Did I? Did I seriously lose? Never mind. It's clear, but it's it's big. He comes with a base, which I don't quite care for. Got a hair on it. It's got this. It has a hingy thing, a clip. Then it comes with a pole, and then this crotch holder thingy then another clip it's a little convoluted and i don't quite care for it but you can uh can add that onto it if you wanted to if you felt so inclined um can you do that no you cannot separate that uh, yeah i don't know what the hell it doesn't even hold the figure too well so i don't i don't care i i don't care but cooler accessories he comes with are a gajillion million hands on him right now are some fists even though he is very much not the type to actually use his fists i do have him on him but he does come with two relaxed hands which look nice then he comes with like some slapping hands just in case you just need to, like, slap the, uh, incompetent seven members that aren't doing the job well. And then he comes with some thumbs up for when he needs to pretend like he's actually a good person in front of all the crowds. Despite the fact that he killed a guy in front of a crowd of people and also dated a Nazi. Then a, a slightly more open hand. I don't know, like, grabby, like, Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Type hand. I don't know. And then finally, you cannot be an American-related superhero without a pointing hand. Captain America has them. Homelander has them. You need to point. But yeah, that's all the hands. I'm not gonna put any of them on them because they seem like they'd be difficult and it's kind of already spoiled a lot on the packaging but this chest as you can see by the fact that it started coming off comes off uh it it kind of stays on well but not enough that i feel comfortable because he comes with a alternate chest which i feel like sticks on oddly slightly better and it's to recreate that like look of him like unfolding the corner and bringing it down which he had a lot in season one and then we never saw that again i feel like the packaging makes it look a bit better i'm not personally a fan of it but you do have all the stars painted nicely if it will focus yeah but we're going to keep him with this chest, considering that's how he looks most of the time. And finally, he comes with two other alternate heads. He comes with a very angry laser head like, I'm tired of your crap, with the hair curling down, which looks nice. And then a more, like, friendly Homelander smile. Kind of wish he came with a more sadistic smile that he kind of has this one's a little too friendly looking but it's nice then the head on him right now is just a more like blank neutral expression i don't feel like they perfectly nail the likeness actually you know what oddly enough the smiling head looks better as a likeness but you know, it is what it is. It's miles above that NECA one. That NECA one. Whew. That was rough. The Black Noir is the only good one. Because you can't see a face. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it now. I kind of want to swap 
the heads because I kind of do feel like this looks more like I feel like this actually this head does look a lot more like Anthony Starr than um this head and also this is just a blank like scowl which doesn't look too bad I don't know. I feel like now looking at it more, this smile does look a bit better. Because it does kind of carry the more, like, Homelander-like smile. But then also maybe, like, that kind of sadistic smile he does. Where there's just pure evil behind those eyes. Yeah, I feel like that... Yeah, this head looks a lot better now that I think of it. I've never put the other heads on him because I thought it was going to be difficult. And then it, it was super easy. I don't know why I thought it was going to be difficult, but yeah. That one's definitely the best likeness. The other ones are kind of like 70 to 80% there, but I feel like this is like 90% there. That is like practically it. Anyway, that weird head tangent aside, let's actually get into the nitty gritty of this Homelander figure because he is pretty awesome. We kind of already talked in detail about the head, but, like, we'll just bring this one up a bit more. Yeah, that that just looks more like him. I don't know what it is. I think it's the smile. The smile just makes it look more like him. But, yeah, head sculpt. This head sculpt, at least, looks really solid. Hair painted really well. I feel like it's not as blonde as it should be. It's very much a dirtier blonde when I think he has it way more bleached. I feel like there's a little bit too much shading in there. I feel like it definitely needs to be brighter. But again, this is the season one look that it's based off of. So, yeah, but still. And then coming down just to the collar alone, you got all that nice, beautiful detail in there. Coming down to the chest, he has that beautiful texture throughout. They captured it well, as opposed to Noir who doesn't have the texture at all. It's one of my few complaints I have with the uh, Noir, which I will review soon. I want to get the other ones. There's a Soldier Boy, a Butcher, and I think a Starlight. And I know there's going to be an A-Train in the Deep, or the Peak, as uh, we call them. But yeah, uh, they're pricey, but honestly really cool and for the fact that this is the only figures of the boys really on the market because i don't even know if mafex even make mafex i don't even know if neck even is continuing with it but yeah there might be more the boys review soon who knows got the red line it's just uh, it comes off a little too easy so after that i might glue it in considering the fact that i don't care for the other piece i'll never put it on and in fact i don't really like how it looks Ran out of ran out of breath there, which is why my voice got really high pitched out of nowhere. But yeah, and then you got his weird eagles that are on his shoulders, looking really nice. Got this nice kind of like gold, slight dirty rust look or something. I don't I don't know how to explain it, but it it looks really nice. You come down to his arms, his gauntlets look really good. Um, one thing I noticed is his belt has kind of turned silver, and I don't know why. I, I think, I don't know if, like, because, like, maybe the crotch piece, I think, slightly rubberier. Maybe it made the paint chip off a bit more, which isn't good, because, like, I feel like the front, or even the backs, I don't know. I can't tell if that's how it was originally or not but it feels way more silver than that so i don't know that might be something to look out for but not to get up close on his crotch but you do get the homelander symbol which looks nice there come down to his legs packing packing thighs but let's be honest this is all a muscle suit and then coming down to his boots which i feel like you don't really see too often but again why would you actually see his feet a lot but they do have the homelander logo there and look really nice and his cape has a wire in it so you can actually get this thing looking nice i do like how it's folded up but you can spread it out and it of course is the american flag looks super nice 
and then you got the uh, top of it. It's just a harder plastic, which does kind of break the illusion of that cape a bit. But still, looks really nice. And the wire runs through here, runs through the bottom, heads up. Definitely high quality right here. So yeah, this Homelander figure is honestly really awesome. I like him more now that I put the other head on. I don't know what it I don't know what it is, but I just this head's so much better. Anyway. We went on a little journey there. Articulation wise, he's a Mafex, which is like a hundred dollars or eighty or ninety. I don't know the retail price. I got this guy discounted. So he best have articulation. And he can move his head. Oof. Not off to a great start. Not good if that's the height you get for the head for a character that can fly. He can kind of look down. He can look down better. But it can do the rotating bobs. Arms, I think there's like a slight butterfly. And this is on a hinge too. So you can move it as you please for the different poses. But you can't... You can rotate it, but you might pop his chest off. I uh, yeah, I think that's as much rotation as you're gonna get. I'm when it comes to higher end figures with a lot of articulation, I get wary moving a lot of the parts because I'm afraid I'm gonna move everything out of alignment and then it's gonna look bad and then also maybe break something. But he can move his arm out that far. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. He has those that hinge where you can like get it like that, which I don't care for. But at least, unlike McFarlane, they can actually integrate it into the figure nicely. Also a train. He has a diaphragm joint, and I feel like his chest is kind of misaligned. But he can arc that far forward, that far back, which is nice. And of course, rotate at both of them. Can kind of, I think, leg hinges down so you can kick that far forward. Not really far back, but to be fair, he is packing cake. Look at that. Lord of mercy. Now that's America's ass. I feel like I got it misaligned there. And then he can do the splits. Not that you'd ever see Homelander do anything remotely physical. He would much rather resort to just the laser eyes. But there is a rotation there. Hmm. So, Single jointed knee, that's not a single jointed knee, double jointed knee, and then the ankles kind of the same way, and you have a rocker, and the slightest of toe joints, I forgot there's little details on his feet, so yeah, he's got some pretty solid articulation, you can't get him into the most dynamic poses, but also, Homelander isn't the character to get in dynamic poses, he's very much the character to just be like, and that's it i think the most physical he got was in season three and he was fighting for his life there so yeah comparison time i don't got a lot of comparisons i'm gonna be real um here he is next to an average black series and transformers voyager class it's technically a leader but I don't care. Here he is next to Leader Class Megatron from the Bumblebee movie. I just purely want to flex that I have him. I don't know how rare he is, but I literally... I think he dropped in January, and I literally have not seen him in stores until like a week ago. And this figure is technically a knockoff, but I got him and I wanted to show him. Neo. It's pretty much the exact same height. So yeah, he does have some height on the clones like most figures are usually taller than the black series and for seven inch scale here they are next to they it's one of them next to dc mcfarland black manta and jazzwares halo 3 master chief and for some more fun ones there's only a couple i got a bunch of figures out because i'm gonna try to record multiple videos maybe depending on how much storage space i have but I only have a couple for the boys because I don't really have too many characters. 
Here he is next to the Mafex Black Noir. That figure's not as, like, looks-wise, not as good as Homelander, but also this figure is one of the most fun figures I've ever owned, so I don't care. He's awesome. I love him. And I love Black Noir. I'm really curious about the season four of Black Noir, because again, I haven't watched the season yet. I heard he talks. Freaky. Hopefully they don't ruin my boy. I love them. And finally, here he is next to yet another American hero who is actually kind of evil. U.S. agent. This is a custom one. Not not one I made. I found it at a comic shop. And I'm like, why would you get rid of this? It's actually kind of cool. But yeah, I also feel like they kind of look similar too. Maybe it's just because they're just blonde white guys. But yeah, uh, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know. Here he is. Here he is next to Deadpool. Cause why not, right? Do I recommend this figure? Hell yeah! If you want a figure of Homelander, this is it. I think there's really only two options. Buy this one. This one's infinitely better. Maybe, maybe if this guy is like 120 and you can get the NECA one for like 15 to $10, then maybe the NECA one's the way to go And may if you're struggling on money. But if you have the money and you want to figure of Homelander, go with this one. This one, infinitely better. And he's honestly a really solid figure. And I'm liking him a lot more now that I have this head on. Yeah, I'd give him, like, a solid, like, 8 out of 10. He's got great articulation, a lot of accessories. He's hindered a bit in some areas, but honestly, Homelander's not the character to be going in those insanely dynamic poses, so it's perfectly alright. Like, this is, like, the most you need from him, that and maybe, like, a sitting down position. And then maybe, like, getting him, like, that. Which you can do. And as you can see, shoulder pads move to get out the way. But yeah, really like him. I do recommend him. He is pretty cool. Like, subscribe, check out my previous reviews. A lot of Marvel stuff. We're going to be continuing with the Iron Man train pretty soon. I just took a little detour for Carnage and then took another detour for Homelander because I remembered the boys' season is ending this week so yeah um check out my instagram moon nxa so you can talk to me there do a lot of guitar related vids there and album reviews it's more music related and just also you see me yap on my story a lot and yeah hopefully you have a wonderful day and hopefully you will never have to encounter Homelander, because there's no way you're surviving that. I'm going to be real. You're finished. You're cooked. If I see Homelander, I'm just going to accept that I'm probably going to get killed. So yeah. Peace.